What is going on guys, Brighter Things House here and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, in this video, we are going to be attempting to fix some really bad problems with uh, the Ford Mustang. Uh, it always seems that Ford just, there's a couple things that they just get wrong, you know, from rust on aluminum panels to a crappy transmission. Um, there just always seems to be something that Ford really just drops the ball on. Um, and today I have found something that is really weird and uh, it's kind of been driving me nuts for a super long time and I really think it's time to just fix it and get it taken care of. So that's what we're gonna do in today's video. haven't already make sure you go check out the 1k giveaway video there's gonna be a link down in the description in the card up above make sure you go check that out and get yourself entered in to, uh, to win some cool stuff so basically what we're gonna be doing today is there's a problem with the gas cap on some Ford Mustangs um, doesn't happen to everybody but it's across all the platforms on the s550 and basically what happens I'll show you guys in a sec the gas cap will get like very floppy and unfortunately, there's no way to fix it other than to take the whole gas cap and the whole area off. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, it's gonna be a, you know, kind of an intricate, tricky video. Uh, you gotta watch the paint and I don't wanna scratch the plastic dip and whatnot. So uh, we're gonna get that going. We're gonna pull the car in back here. I got it out front waiting to get uh, pulled back here, just kind of warming up, open up the gate. We'll get back here and start with the video. So once again, the 1K giveaway video is live. The giveaway is live. Um, if you guys have not already, make sure you go check that out. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Let's hop into today's video. I hope you guys all enjoy. This is all flappy and uh, it shouldn't be like this at all. Um, there is, you know, no tension. There's a little spring in here and there's no tension at all on the spring. So that is where the problem is coming. It's not, you know, really closing back in to stay in there. Um, there's a couple different possibilities that could be going on. Uh, the spring could have slipped off that's in here or what could have happened is, um, there's a pin that the spring goes around right on top of the pin uh you know it could have broke so we're gonna have to just find out once we get in there but basically what we're gonna be doing is you guys can see here all these spots that there is a a line so right there up here uh there's one down here and one down here uh, what we're gonna be doing is getting something to pry underneath there and pop them off and then we'll take it off and we'll evaluate the damage that is done uh, once we get in there so we get the GoPro strapped on, just shut off. We get the GoPro strapped on and I'll get you guys some first person uh, point of view here while we do this. All right, so I'm gonna be honest. I really have no clue as to what I'm doing here. All I know is I need to get under this edge and this is where it's going to be a pain in the, you can see already right there. I already kind of chipped the, the plasti dip. Um, let's kind of, we got to get something to get underneath that lip there. Actually, I have, try something like this here. This is the real thin side. Let's try to get this underneath here. Okay, so it is under. Now, I'm seeing that there's like, tabs or something I watched a couple YouTube videos but you know there's really like no videos on this so I'm not quite sure exactly how to go about this we can get this bottom one and go from top to bottom that should maybe work a little bit better do 
I think I've got two of them off. Yeah, see, I just dented the absolute hell out of the Plasti Dip. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that should be two that are done, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so that should be two. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, this is gonna just mess this plastic dip right the hell up, dude. Oh, but it's a problem, I gotta fix it, so. It's extra tight in here for some reason, though. Oh! Okay, well, that is not what I wanted. This is definitely becoming a uh, more of a destruction video than, uh, than anything. It's causing all types of tears right there. Okay. Put my trusty sock back under here. I'm trying to rush it, but obviously I don't want to do that. I just heard something give. Hey, that didn't sound good. Damn, that plastic was just getting all marred up. Feels like there is something that is down inside of this that it just does not want to come off for some reason. And I can't see anything back behind here. So let's try to get this in between here. Try to maybe. <sighs> yeah, that's not it. I literally got the whole thing out besides just this one freaking part. I need to be able to push this. I think that's what someone was saying is you have to push the filler nozzle all the way out because there's not enough clearance for it to come out. Like I said, there's literally like two videos of this on YouTube. I don't want to just go pulling on stuff, but like I got the whole thing out. It's all disconnected. All the stuff is disconnected. There's literally nothing that keeps this locked in. Like, okay. Try to get this up and around. The best bet is just get my fingers in there. Try to get this out. Tearing up my fingers. Okay, so this whole thing is now off. Oh, oh my God. Basically what needs to happen is this spring has to come off. Okay, because this is now not providing enough tension for this. So I'm gonna take this spring off. And then, what people say you need to do, is to get this pin back inside of here. As to how that works, I am not sure, but you can see it opens and it closes it. So, so right there it is nice and perfectly closed, and when I push it and pull it open, it works like so. Alright, so just so you guys can see, this is going to be the proper orientation. I literally just fought like hell for probably like 20 minutes trying to figure this out. So, when you press on this, right, it should open, should pop open. You pull it out, you see how this rotates, and it flings open. I'm not 100% sure if this is right, but I mean, this works, so I don't, I don't see why it, it wouldn't be. Um, slam shut, locks, and... What happens here is this tension on the spring from pulling here, when you move this, it forces it back and it wraps itself around this, pulling the pulling it uh, tight again. So like when you see, when you pull this, I can't even pull it without 
actually moving it because it's that tight. When you pull this, you can see it moves back and then it will continue to pull it. Watch as I close it, moves it just a little bit more and it locks it in. So we're gonna get this put back in. Um, there's not, I really didn't do any damage. So all these are still intact. Um, the only stuff that really happened was this crack down here, but you know, that is minuscule stuff. And then obviously, you know, we did ding up the plastic dip a little bit. Um, but honestly, the paint underneath should be perfectly fine. <laughs> so we shouldn't have to deal with this um, ever again. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to make sure you attach this hose first before we actually, you know what, I'll, I will, uh, I'll do that when we get there. So let's shove this back in here. Make sure this fits back in nice and snug, which this is going to be the hardest part. So everything else is easy leading up to it, but this is going to be the challenging stuff now is getting this back pushed in and fitting this gap. Okay. So we have that back in now. And what we need to do before we get it all the way pushed back in is grab, I just launched that filler hose or the overflow hose, whatever you want to call it. Make sure to get that plugged back in. I don't know if you, how well you guys can see that, but. All right, I think we got the hose back on. Double check here. Okay, so that is back on. Let's make sure everything is aligned properly. There's a little, okay. Push everything back in. And voila. Now, obviously we did suffer some damage right here. So that is kind of unfortunate, I'm not gonna lie. But, boom, and boom. It is now fixed, so I do not have to worry about it flying off, but you did get some damage here on the plastic dip. Um, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm actually gonna try to use some uh, some naphtha, and I'm gonna try to smooth this back out a little bit, see what I can do there. Um, I don't know if that's really gonna fix it or not, but I am gonna try that and see if that will help it at all. I think they tell you to use a a spray bottle if I'm not mistaken. I may have used this last time. Ah, I did use this last time. Okay, so here is what we are going to do. Come up here. Just put a little bit in here. Kinda got on the ground a little bit there. I know I used a spray bottle last time to put the stuff in there. Maybe I used like a different nozzle or something. Let me see what's going on with this one here. I'm gonna spray just a little bit of paint thinner on these spots. And what this should actually do is, so obviously this dip is um, paint thinner resistant. You guys didn't know we have a dip arm around the car so it is not going to have any adverse effects obviously i don't want to leave this on the car but what should happen here is this dip should actually kind of lay back out some and kind of cover it up actually if you can see i'm able to kind of smooth a lot of the stuff out i don't know if you guys can see on my finger or not there but What'll happen is it'll re-wet the dip and then it's kind of malleable, if you will. I'd like to maybe just kind of clean up. So yeah, you can see there, there's clearly blue on um, my rag, on my white rag. So now what that is, is that is getting the underneath layers from the Plasti Dip. It is not getting the that most outer layer. It is only getting them on the outside. Take some isopropyl alcohol, a little bit of isopropyl, nothing crazy. And I'm going to wipe all this stuff down so that way there isn't paint thinner that is on the car and this alcohol can dry off. So yeah, obviously we touched the car up 
it looks a little bit or we messed the car up a little bit here uh, it doesn't look terrible but the gas cap is fixed and i no longer have to worry about this thing scratching because that was a problem the only issue that we got is the fact that this is actually like supposed to be like wrapped around this i believe and it should actually sit a little bit different on here but it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't so that is going to wrap up today's video guys thank you guys so much for 1000 subscribers and thank you guys so much for watching if you really enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up if you want to see what i do on a daily basis go check me out on instagram the link will be down in the description i hope you guys all enjoyed the video and as always peace out